It's Allie with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're doing a cool comparison between the Solus Scala Grinder and the Baratza Encore. Both of these are entry-level grinders that are kind of made for the more multi-purpose brewing. So we're going to go over kind of what they share, what they have different, um, and see which one's better for you. So let's start with the Baratza Encore. This one has kind of been around for a little bit longer and is more well-known. Um, Baratza is a company that um, is really good with their support and their parts availability. So that's another thing it has going for it. Um, you have a total, I think it was 40 settings, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 40 settings on this grinder um, and it is stepped. So all macro adjustments. So no micro fine tuning or anything like that. You have a, a pulse button on the front. So on off or you have a set on off button here. So if you turn this, it will stay on until you tell it otherwise. If you use this one in the front, it's a hold down situation. So um, you basically are manually telling it when to start and stop. Has a little metal catch, but not metal, sorry, plastic catch bin here. Um, and both of these are kind of got the smoke, if you notice, is compared to a clear hopper. If you have a lot of sunlight in your kitchen, this is actually a good thing to have because it will um, prevent the sunlight from affecting like the staleness of your coffee and, and making it stale too soon. It holds eight ounces in the hopper um, and it's actually, I think it was 11 inches high. You might have to double check my specs on that. Um, I know the Solus over here is actually funny enough, five by seven. So about the same size as a classic picture. Um, so seven inches high. So obviously there's a little bit of height difference there. The Solus has a larger hopper, so um, while, while this one does eight ounces, this does 10, so just a few more. Um, it has, remind myself, 22 options here, so a little bit smaller of a range, um, and we'll talk about that here in the grind samples as well. You have a start stop on the front, but it doesn't really work like a pulse, so as this one would. So the start stop is gonna activate the timer on this one, which you can program on the side. So it goes up in increments of five seconds. So up to 50 seconds, you can uh, program this to run. And the catch bin here is also plastic, but it actually has another little lid. So that's kind of useful for reducing some of the mess because that's a complaint that people have about the Baratzas. Um, they don't have anything, if you notice, know, see this isn't a sealed top. So when you pull this out, some of the coffee can kind of fly um, if there's some static. So having the lid on this would reduce that a little bit. A little bit smaller though. Okay, let's look at the grind samples I have here. I did, I don't know if I mentioned that these both have conical steel burrs. So starting with a Baratza, this one has a very wide range, which I think is one of the reasons why it's so popular, is you can do, this is some really nice chunky cold brew options or French press. You get away with that no problem. Um, and then I did these in the increments of 10, so this would be setting 40, 30, 20, 10, and then the finest. So um, you get over here towards these more like drip coffee grounds, I would say. Um, so from some, somewhere in the medium range, kind of like kosher salt, and then you get towards the finer end here. So this finer grind um, is probably what I would recommend for air press or pour over. Um, you can, on this finest setting, you can definitely get away with pressurized espresso. Um, just probably not regular espresso. People really who try to get this grinder for regular espresso would really struggle. So overall, really beautiful grinds. Um, you know, it's a great grinder. It's going to last forever, and that's a huge benefit. Moving on to the Solus grinder here. So, and these are two different coffees too, so you'll notice this one's a little bit darker. Um, so I started, this is the coarsest option here. So this is on setting 20, um, going all the way down to the finest. So you'll see right away that the scale of the size of the grinds is different. So even though this is the coarsest option on this one, this is still more like a drip coffee. Um, and that's probably the coarsest it can do. So not the best of it if you're looking for something like cold brew grinds, like these big chunky flakes over here. Um, but you'll notice when, if you're looking for these finer grinds, this really, really excels in that finer range. These are super consistent and fluffy. Um, I will say still not going to make it for your regular espresso. This is definitely more towards the pressurized range though. So you have a lot of options within that, which is great. 
Um, both of these come in at a really nice price point. Um, they're really approachable. Um, I will say, you know, it really depends on how you plan to use your grinder. If you're looking for something for pressurized espresso, the Solus is definitely the way to go. Um, or those finer grind sizes as well, like AeroPress and that sort of thing. The Barazza has that wider range. So if you find yourself switching up with what you do, or if you like just having more options, that may be a better fit. Yeah. Let us know if you have any questions about these grinders. We're happy to help. Just put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.